My name is Kim Davis. I've been a high school heritage English teacher for the last 10 years, teaching AP language to juniors and AP literature and British literature to seniors. I've been a part of the heritage community a lot longer than that because our four children, now grown and married, all attended heritage K through 12. I started subbing when our youngest was in first grade just to be part of their world. And then eventually three different times, an English teacher left mid-year and I was asked to finish the year. And then after that last time, it was finally the right opportunity for our family and a job was open here. So I've been part of the faculty since then. And this last decade has been the joy of my life. I love my job. I find my subject area endlessly fascinating. I think the dynamic of the classroom is the most energizing part of my everyday life. And then there are the students and we, attract a particularly wonderful bunch of kids, so it is just my privilege to know them. One thing I particularly love about teaching at Heritage is that I get to teach literature from a Christian perspective. All the authors we read are asking big questions like, what is the meaning of life? What is love? Can it last? Um, how do I deal with guilt and evil? And those are all questions that the Bible addresses too, so we have the opportunity to compare what authors say with what our faith says. And then even beyond that, um, I find that even, it's really amazing, the most secular authors have pieces of the gospel embedded in their work, little bits of truth, not because that's their intention, but just because that's written on our heart and it's part of our human nature. And so it's really wonderful to be able to tease those out and talk about those with my students. Um, I My classes are the last stop before college for, for students. And so of course, while I'm teaching particular content, I'm also really working on college readiness in reading and writing. So reading, this happens especially in my AP classes, but in reading, I'm trying to teach them to think beyond just what does it say? So we're, we're getting way past content and looking instead at why is it the way it is? So kind of all like looking at the underside of the text. Why is it structured that way? What was the author's purpose? How does that sentence structure here or that word choice contribute to it? So it makes for very much more perceptive readers. And then um, writing, we give them lots of opportunities to write. And I'm really hoping that they will eventually become de more deliberate with their choices. They'll plan more, they'll take things through more drafts. And a few years ago, we were able to start a writing lab so that our best students get experience as peer tutors. And then everyone else can go with help from brainstorming to uh, editing their final draft. I regularly have grads come back and tell me how well prepared they are. And I'm not talking about my best writers. These are the average kids. Uh, they come and tell me that they help other people on their dorm floor, that their professors think they're marvelous, that they're getting A's in their composition class. That is thrilling to me. My own kids felt they were well prepared by their heritage education. And um, I actually used one way they weren't prepared to make my own classes better. So when the middle two were in college, I asked them independently of each other, what did heritage not prepare you for? And they both told me, we've never had to find our own topic for a paper. And we have to do that in college all the time. So I've built that into both of my classes for seniors, and I use information for, that the Greeks taught from rhetoric about topic generation and development. So they're not just having to find a topic out of nothing, but they really have a framework that they can take with them to college. My AP students um, generally score, they always score, in fact, better than the state and national averages. And those classes now are both available as dual credit with Indiana Wesleyan. My classes are not particularly techy because we discuss and we write, that's what we do. But I love it that our students all have devices so they're able to use them for research. And then we do a lot of collaborative things using Google, shared Google Docs and Google Slides. One thing I particularly love about being a last stop before college teacher is that I get to be part of college decisions and decisions about major for a lot of my students as they're those are, those are momentous things. I write a lot of college recommendation letters, a lot of scholarship letters, and I edit a lot of college application essays. Those all enable me to get to know my kids on a deeper level and often to pray with them individually. It really is a privilege to be a last stop teacher of upperclassmen at Heritage Christian School.